Hi there, welcome to ADSR Massive Tutorials. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you get yourself subscribed to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts, so you won't miss any future tutorials that we do on Massive. So this is the final part of the kind of tech house, deep house production feature we've been doing, building this loop in Logic, using some kind of layering some samples using massive where we can so massive has done the bass and the kind of lead and the sub sound and um, yeah this is the final part so today we're gonna just look at that bass look at adding an extra layer to that bass just to kind of bring out some kind of more high-end kind of mids in the bass really and some drum bus processing just beefing up those drums a bit and then just doing a bit of track reference at the end just to check our mix so let's start with this bass, I know it's playing this loop, let's mute the ARP for now or this kind of delay lead ARP sound it sounds cool, it depends whatever sounds you want to add into the track but I thought for this kind of loop we could maybe just kind of bring some more top end out in that bass and also thicken it up uh, and one technique for doing this and to be du duplicate this bass line and just kind of treat another sound separately and just kind of bring out some more stereo width and stuff in there. So let's duplicate that that bass, copy these MIDI notes over, and then if this is the kind of low end bass, what I can do here is with this bus send, this tape delay, just mute that, just mute that tape delay send, and just keep it on this kind of what's going to be called bass tops layer. So let's start off here by just taking more of that bottom end out of this tops layer. So roll this up to about 275. And then to kind of, I noticed as well, massive, we've got the kind of like envelope to filter kind of cut off thing going here. We can bring out a bit more of that on this tops layer. has quite a nice character when you kind of boost that filter mod a bit and also this oscillator one this is the kind of low end it's pitched down one octave here so we can mute this on this instance of massive so it's just tops that we're dealing with here and now we put the bass back in and then we can just one step further with this really add a bit of width to this tops layer use isotopes imager ozone 5 imager and it's band free width just push this up to about 50% and then let's offset it here a little bit 0 0.8 and then just bring this down maybe so just change the frequency range this is band free here about 700 pull this one to about 4k so this is the frequency band that this band free width is affecting and you can hear it's bringing out some of the kind of it's just spreading out those like mids and high mids a little bit and let's do a bit on the band 4 as well the kind of very high end of the sound push up to about 17 and I'm going to offset this in a different direction I think this is quite a cool effect you can do It's just bringing that that kind of tops layer. It's just adding a bit of width and a bit more kind of sort of top to the bass sound. So I'm just kind of bringing it out a little bit, really. So yeah, that was one thing really and then the next sort of thing we're going to look at here is these drums I don't know why that's going in that name, that's the shakers there so let's mute the bass and subs and that kind of lead sound for now, focus here and first thing really quite standard sort of stuff uh, but is always necessary is uh, just to kind of do a low end kind of high pass really 
on um, all the kind of cymbals and, and kind of clap sounds. So start here. Analyzer. And I tend to just kind of roll this off until you start to hear it affect the sound. You start rolling too much kind of bottom end and mids out of all of your claps and cymbals and hi-hats and stuff. You, you, your drums are just going to sound a little bit thin. So just kind of roll it off until you start to hear it really affect the sound. Obviously, you don't want any of that low end in there. But those mids and highs are all right, so duplicate the channel EQ. So you can hear it's just thinned out that sort of hi hat a little bit too much. So okay, so. And one final thing really with the rides was just to put a bit of sidechain compression on them just so they kind of and just copied that sidechain compressor from one of these synth sounds. Just kind of gives it, makes it a little bit more rhythmic with the kick drum and stuff. So with that set up, let's just set this bus send up for these drum sounds here so obviously not sending the side chain to the kind of drum bus bus three here rename this drum bus and then let's look a bit of kind of drum bus processing here really we can just solo this now so the first thing i was going to look at is just driving the drums a little bit and Something I purchased recently was by a Slate Digital called the Virtual Tape Machine, which you can download the demo of on the Slate Digital website. You'll need an iLock 2 in order for it to, to work, but um, this just has such a nice sound. And so, I mean, just by simply kind of inserting this onto a drum bus, or a bus of any kind really, you instantly get quite a nice sound. So I've not actually touched any of the kind of controls yet. If I bypass and unbypass this tape sim, you'll hear kind of the effect it's having. You get a kind of instant sort of more rounded sort of warmth in the bottom end and the kind of mids and highs just don't sound quite as harsh it just the, makes the drums sound a bit thicker if that sort of makes any sense just a bit warmer and I mean I've not even touched any of this stuff over here bias you've got two types of tape machine both give slightly different sounds tape type and then the kind of IPS the inches per second and you just Again, you're just getting sort of slight differences in some of the kind of sort of frequency and tonal content, uh, but it's just such a nice kind of plugin to use, and I've not even started driving it yet. So, at the moment, we've got the output linked to the input, so we're not just getting that kind of. We can unlink them here, and then just use the input independently. I just tend to have, I mean, all I tend to do is turn it on, maybe tweak some of these kind of settings over to the right, and, and you mean you might drive the input, especially on a kind of a drum burst, might drive the input by like 0 0.5 to 1 dB. And I think it has a really nice effect on the sound. So if you don't have the kind of 
the Slate Digital VTM or you don't have an iLot 2 to kind of try out the demo. A couple of freeware plugs that I sort of had a look at for do the does that do a similar thing and there's this thing by Klanghelm called IVGI and this is like a this is free to download um, and again it kind of drives your drums just sort of crunches them it has a really nice sound as well just kind of boosts that drive there and there's a reduction in the kind of sort of high frequency that you can sort of deal with here in response output And again, quite subtle, but it's just sort of driving the drums. It sounds really nice. And there's also something released with the the latest computer music by uh, Koasa Premix. So yeah, this is free with the latest copy of computer music. And again, it's like you can just boost this gain and you just start driving things a bit. Tweet that output there. got a little EQ as well but yeah just something I just like to drive the drum bus a little bit be quite subtle with it but it just warms things up you know just make things a bit fuller and starts to gel things together a little bit as well so let's kind of put that that T that VTM back on there so the next thing I'm going to do is just a subtle amount of bus compression Fab Filter Pro C for this, but most, you know, any kind of compressor bundled with your door would work for this kind of thing. And we're just gonna be quite subtle with this, just really slow attack, fast release. I'm gonna go for classic style. And I boost the ratio to about three to one. And I pull this threshold down until I'm just getting a small amount, you know, one or one to two dB of compression here. kind of lost a bit of volume there so go to this output level here boost this by about 0.5 Again, it's just sort of helping the drums gel together a little bit more. And uh, then I noticed just adding the kind of VTM and the, the FabFilter Pro C, uh, we've lost a little bit of sort of top end, a little bit of sparkle on the drums. Um, and you could they could keep it like that, you know, it's, it's all down to taste really and what you're trying to do with the drums. But if you want to reintroduce some more of that top end, maybe use a kind of EQ after the compressor. And this is another free EQ from EA Reckon and yeah it would come free with computer music so it's a great EQ and we can use this tips here it's quite handy cymbals and hi-hats and just look where kind of it's a bit of a rough guide really where you might want to sort of dip or boost frequencies depending on what kind of sound you're treating but we want to introduce a bit more high-end back into these drums so this area here maybe 2 to 4k add a bit more presence So we've got this frequency, maybe go to about 3K and just add a bit of a boost there. Remember bus processing, just try and be as subtle as possible. If there's any kind of like, if you're boosting or compressing by more than one or two dB, then maybe start having a look at the mix and the individual sounds rather than trying to fix it on the bus. So just a little bit of presence there, just bringing some of those kind of higher mids back in. And then let's kind of listen to those drums, what we've done with it. Let's mute the free kind of pluggers we've got on there. Hear what it does to the sound. We're not actually boosting the volume at all there, if you look at that.
but it's just helping the drums gel together a bit more, sound a bit warmer, a bit more kind of crunchy, and um, especially that VTM, just really nice for this kind of type of sort of house music, really. So let's pull the other sounds back in. So we've got our kind of loop playing, and this is quite a cool plugin that uh, I've just been been using recently. If we just kind of bring the level up of this loop here, use a limiter, just so it's kind of peaking at about zero dB. and use some kind of track reference stuff really and I used to have like tracks in my range just four or five different tracks in my range and try and reference kind of mix downs and weight and punch and low end and stuff using them but this new plugin by Sample Magic here Magic AB kind of takes care of that for you it's a great little plugin so any kind of like processing you apply to the master bus it's not going to affect what's going on in here so on A is our track and then let's just load a track into here and you can load up to nine tracks so you can have a number of different tracks just for reference hit the power button on the reference track get it over to a part where the kind of all the music's going on you can match the levels as well if you want so you've got levels about the same just start referencing our mix obviously there's a bit of work to be done there listen to our mix you know there's a bit more need a bit more focus and definition in the bottom end the kind of subs are a little bit out of control and maybe those highs are just going a bit too a bit too harsh really but and bear in mind the kind of reference track has been professionally mastered I mean we've just stuck a limiter on the the master output there but um, yeah, it's a great little plugin for just referencing your mix downs and just referencing kind of just weight in the bottom end and high end, high end and stuff like that. So, so yeah, that's the end of the kind of house music or deep house and tech house production feature. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Uh, any questions or feedback on this feature, then please get in touch. Let us know, and make sure you get yourself over to massivesynth.com for tons more tutorials making various different sounds with native instruments massive and yeah thanks for watching hope to see you again soon all right cheers bye